A spotlight continues to fall on the African marketplace. But just how are investors and businesses approaching the wide array of consumers across the continent? I sat down with Anne Kern, the president of International Markets for MasterCard, to find out more about access to the next billion consumers. Kern, thank you very much for joining us today. I want to begin by asking you, what are the challenges in capturing a market where discretionary income is a challenge? I think the important thing is you have to understand that we're not looking at a big credit market in Africa. What we're trying to do is make people feel very safe that they can put money onto cards inside a telephone or inside a bank and without feeling and touching that money like cash that that money's always there when they need it. So it's really about helping them manage their lives um, the things that they need and the things that they they want and the discretionary side the wants might be small but the needs the everyday needs of buying food using public transport and so on those are the things that we're targeting in Africa. Tell us about the partnership with Econet Wireless and what that system would entail. Econet have built um, a wonderful cash-based uh, wallet inside the telephone, um, but then uh, the telephones, because of the technology existing in the country, can't be used um, to get cash out of a cash machine or indeed to buy food in a supermarket. So what we've done is we've paired up a card that can be used that accesses the cash inside that Econet wallet directly, and that card can be used in a hole in the wall to get you know, paper money out, or it can be used in a point of sale machine in a supermarket when you're buying food. So really what it's doing is it's giving people more access to the funds that they hold in their Econet wallet. How would you compare that to the use of M-Pesa, which is very popular in Kenya, for example? Yeah. There isn't the use of cards. Yeah. You do have that mobile money that is very accessible. You know, Safaricom have been uh, very clever at building that network in Kenya, but the way that they've done it is they've built cash in and cash out facilities, bricks and mortar, if you like, all around the country to do that. Um, I think that the development in the future uh, won't need a, a mobile operator to do that. What, what people will expect is that you can use the everyday capability that's there in the banking system or in the supermarkets to build out your ecosystem. And, um, and that's really what we're talking about with Econet.